Real good. Is she available? No, I'm afraid not. Not until after we get this thing figured out. I don't know what you guys hope to accomplish. I mean, even if it wasn't a suicide, what can she do? <clears throat> Ms. Adler, if you thought that Mr. Nixon had a drinking problem, why did you schedule every meeting with him at a bar? I did not schedule every meeting with him at a bar. But I do have several clients, and I don't have time to meet with them over meals, so we'd meet over a drink. Well, how very compassionate and considerate of you. Weren't you just trying to exacerbate a problem to prove to his wife that he was a liability? <laughs> See, holding your breath won't do you any good. You're not getting a raise. But I want a raise. I want a raise. I want a raise. <laughs> you don't shut up. I'm going to grab your undies and give you a big whip. Gee. <coughs> Who the hell are you? I work for the Tribune. A reporter? How'd you find the Royal? I was... I was investigating drug abuse in kids. Asked for divorce on the grounds of adultery, mental and physical cruelty. She asked for 100% of the marital assets. Thank you, Your Honor. Are you okay? You seem agitated. I could get a reporter from the Bulletin over here this afternoon for an interview. You could be in Sunday's paper. You, Brother Boggs. Miss Lorraine, how are you? I'm sorry. But my life didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. I'm glad she's gone. She smells. Nicklin, go ahead. right over there. See? I can see it, George. What was that? It sounded like a bed spray. At the Where are you going? You're on after this break. I am sick no of all these whiners. I'm going to get some fresh air. What is it about the show that changes these people? Is it me? 